Hi everybody and welcome to this edition of Inside the Eagle's Nest. I'm David Griffith, the voice of the Eagles, and I'm joined here again today by a man who doesn't need any introduction, but I'm obligated to do so. <laughs> Men's basketball head coach Anthony Anderson, nice to meet you again. Good to see you and good to be with you again. So, how does it feel to have an extended break, both you and your players? How do they take advantage of a break this long? Well, with a break this long, it gives us an opportunity to really break down uh, everything and, and assess where we are and give, 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 it gives us a chance to give ourselves a letter grade as far as where we are from game to game as well as practice to practice. Are we picking up on the things that we need to be picking up on? Are we getting better defensively? Are we getting better rebounding? Are we getting better doing the things that we need to? Are we getting better understanding the offense? And do you think that this break will help your team in the future as they rest and recover going forward? Oh, definitely. Um, it gives an opportunity to get the little nicks and nags and that's hurting us, the ankles and uh, knee bumps and everything that goes along with a college, college game. It gets a chance to recover and that's huge. It's very huge. And now going back against the game against Florida Memorial, Last week, it seemed like the one player that people keep raving about is John Corey, your center. He really knows how to just hustle every single play, doesn't he? Getting the rebounds and all that stuff necessary, doesn't he? Uh, John Corey is coming along, and he's starting to uh, make his presence known. Um, like I say, it, it, it's, it's a catching deal where now we're all starting to get going a little bit. And I'm expecting more to step up. I'm expecting these guys to start to understand their roles. And everything's new, new team, new everything. And it takes a little bit, but we're, we're coming along. Um, new players, um, new positions, old players, new spots, new positions. Um, we're just trying to put it all together. And did I hear correctly that he only started playing basketball at 16? And that he was picked up only at 16 years old? Yeah, that's correct. Um, John Corps is a special one. Um, we first got him, um, he could barely catch. Um, and he's developed and, and, and worked and did the things that he needed to do to get better as a basketball player. His best basketball is ahead of him. Um, I, I can't wait four or five years from now to hear about what he's doing and, and, and the place he's going. I wouldn't be surprised you know, if he continue to work and build, if he plays way back and to the G League and end up, you know, getting a few games in the NBA. Bold prediction right there, I would that say. It is, very, very bold, but his ceiling, and because he started so late, he's just now starting to come into his own. He's starting to work. And as a coach, you're looking and you're watching and you try to push and push and see what you can get out of him. But he, he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. I, I know that he's a Division One basketball player. Definitely that. Um, I know if he keeps coming the way he's coming as far as talent-wise, getting better and better, he has a chance. He has a chance. we got a couple at the end of the day that will have a chance if they keep continuing to get better and keep pushing. I just like this group. I think we're getting better. Um, I know as a group, it'll start to show on the other end in the wins and loss columns too. And since we're on the subject of the future, let's talk about the future. Coming up this Friday and Saturday, games coming up against really great competition. First Nova Southeastern this Friday, and then Barry University down in Miami Shores on Saturday. Let's talk about Nova for a second. They basically run a similar offense that Florida Memorial does. So do you think seeing Florida Memorial once already will help you prepare for Nova? Different, different, different type of players, uh, different type of system. Um, it, it, it's similar, but not the same. Uh, Nova's going to come. They're going to press you and really try to turn you over. Um, they're going to take their time. They don't have their offense, and they're going to try and get in the paint. They're going to shoot the open jump shots. Uh, they're going to try and speed you up, speed you up. Um, that, that's what we're looking for out of them. Uh, it'll be more poise and patience and taking our time and if you've got the layup we take it uh, if you don't have anything we want to bring it back out and we want to run our offense and see if we can make them work a little bit that's the biggest thing with them 
and the switch gears and hop over into Barry. Uh, Barry's a little bit different, but they're going to push you. They're going to try and turn you over. They're going to bring the heat and, and make sure that you can handle their press too. Um, but then on offense, they're going to be a little bit more patient and they're going to run the offense a little bit more. Just you're going from one style to the next, but they both press. Uh, one press uh, all game, the other kind of mixes it up. So it, it's going to be a fun task for them. Uh, it's a great opportunity for our guys to step up and play at the Division II level. Um, and it, it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to the challenge. I know our guys are, so it should be fun. Definitely, definitely. And now as we get into the nitty-gritty part of the schedule, what's the one thing about your team that excites you that the rest of the fans should know about? Right now, the, uh, what excites me about this team is their ability to to departmentalize and, and, and push through. Um, it's getting better, and, and I like it uh, just from the standpoint because we play a lot of games early that are very, very meaningful, but they are ranked teams. I'm watching. I know we're going to be greater later, meaning it, it, it's one of the things where now when we start to play in CCAA teams, you'll see the maturity level kick in. You'll watch guys in, in their development at their positions to start to flourish. And, and that's the most important thing with us. Our guys are starting to understand and starting to try to master where they're supposed to be. This ball shot from this side, let me make sure I box out here. Uh, defensively, I'm supposed to be on the blue line. Hey, I got to step up and take the charge. They're starting to get it. I see it. And they're starting to fly around a little bit, and that's what I'm used to. And Coach Anderson, thank you very much for joining us. Always a pleasure to see you. Awesome, awesome. Always a pleasure to be here with you guys. One thing I can say is this, guys, come out, support your team. Um, this Friday night, 7 p.m., come over to Nova Southeastern. We're going to play those guys. And on Saturday at 3 o'clock, 3 p.m. now, 3 p.m., come over to Barry and watch us play them. Two big-time Division II schools. Looking forward to the challenge. Let's go, and let's go get a win talk to you later. Thank you. Coach Anderson, head coach of men's basketball. I'm David Griffith, the voice of the Eagles, and this has been another edition of Inside the Eagles Nest. So long, everybody.